Hey everybody, John Grimsma here. In this video, we're going to engrave initials on this DLC coded Rask, which is phenomenal. Finally found a good DLC coding company and uh, they're doing a stellar, stellar job. Black, black coding, love it. Um, yeah, we're gonna put a little MW right under my thumb there and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So, step one, mount it on the pallet, obviously. Mount it down, I gotta do these screws. I don't need all of them. I just need to make sure it's flat. So I'm just gonna do these three, not all five. So now that we have the code, we go to the machine, we go program list, up, that's my code, input, ready to rock. Now. At this point, I don't completely trust it. I'm not gonna let it ruin my perfectly good handle if I made a mistake. Um, so I'm just gonna go nice and slow and, and check this out. Using the, uh, I like to use the rapid feed rate override knob. It goes down to zero, so nothing happens, and I can creep it down real slow. So if we hit cycle start. Spindle turns on. Turn the feed rate knob a little bit faster, a little bit faster. It's just, it's really weird holding the camera filming this while holding the feed rate and being in control of doing, like, I need to focus. I'm gonna put the camera inside. So if I'm really not sure, if I'm really not sure, I'll get it that close and then I'll look at the screen and say 0.22, does that look like 0.22 above the fixture? Yeah, it does. So, I mean, I have no reason not to trust it. I'm just always cautious first run. Not bad. If you notice, I did that dry. No coolant. Turned out pretty good. I really like how I have these handles screwed onto the fixture using little screws from the back. This is something I've been doing almost since the beginning of making Norseman like five years ago. Let's call it a good four and a half years. It holds the handles very flat, very secure. It takes a lot of fixturing to do it. Like it's kind of an intricate, uh, you know, accurate height fixture. The right screws have to be used. Um, it's kind of picky, but once you have it, it's good to go. Look at that, that looks really good. Black and silver, love it. And that is how I do a custom engraving. I don't do a lot of them, but I'm happy to do them. You know, the thing I love most about doing custom engravings, especially somebody's name on a knife, it means it's really special to them. It means they get to keep it for a long time. They plan on keeping it, passing it down to their kids. It's an heirloom. I mean, these are not cheap items, they're expensive. So when people spend that much money, I really like to see that they're planning on keeping it forever because it makes me feel special. It makes me feel like I'm making a difference. Like, like Eric and I are making awesome knives that have a legacy because we're making them to last. We're making them as good as we can. And it's nice when I know the guys are going to pass it on to their kids. I love hearing that. It's so awesome. That looks really good. I like it. I wonder if I should do that to my knife. Also DLC coated black. Love it. Here's the Norseman that we made. Uh, we happened to make two number 501 blades accidentally. So that's what we engraved. I love it. So I've been carrying this one lately. It's mostly Eric's knife, but I haven't carried a, a new Norseman in quite a while, so it's really nice. But focus is on Rask's right now. And this guy's about to be finished. This is Eric's anodizing section up here. It's 
So what's your magic blue color? You got 28 volts there? Yeah. That's a little high. I thought it was 24. No, 24 is more purple. Oh, uh, blurple? Yeah. So you've got your little uh, container there. Can I see inside? Party. So that will anodize screws like that. These ones here are for this knife and this blade, number 10. We're quite a bit past number 10, but... But that's a DLC one that's been right. set up and waiting for DLC. You ever have any go flying? Once or twice at the beginning, but... Yeah. Beautiful. This went a little high. This is why we make titanium hardware. Nice. So yeah, what do you think about black with blue? It's gonna be awesome. Blade looks awesome. But yeah, the DLC was a big uh, hold up. We're glad it worked out. Cool.